So in between episodes, we totally figured things out. Definitely. That is that is what we did. Not even remotely. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, everybody. Reddit, uh, Reddit Express right here. Welcome back to Drama Team. <laughs> you know, we bumped my mic levels up a little bit, and I noticed me laughing peaked a little, so I'm going to bump it down just a little bit. It's, it's still it's higher than it was, but lower than it was. Lower than it just was, higher than it was last episode. See how that goes. It, it's a tough balance to get like enough, yeah, enough of detail. the dynamic range. Yeah, enough on your detail mic without that, peaking. Yeah. So uh, I believe we have some recordings to listen to now. Yeah. At least I'm pretty sure we do. Maybe not. It, it mentioned that we had something to listen to, but maybe it doesn't want us to do that yet. Yeah, let's just go in here and because we have a lot of stuff to oh, Dr. Kimishima, mm -hmm. do you give need something to analyzed. Again. I wonder how many what times he says, do you need to have something analyzed? I wonder, something I wonder similar. if they reuse the voice clips for oh, some I'm of sure, these. I, I'm sure that, that I would, well, I'm not, I'm sure, but I would not be surprised if there's at least one instance of, oh shit, we only got him to say that 32 times, not 33. Uh, I just pick one to reuse. <laughs> this was found on the fourth victim's corpse. Can you see if this is the same substance that was found on Aiden's hand? It was. Wait, Prediction okay, time. okay. So I think Aiden was the third victim. Yes. So this this is the fourth victim. I okay. thought. Oh, I thought that Aiden was the fourth victim. No, Aiden's the third victim. I think that's why. Because this, okay. this is talking about the fourth guy. So then why was sure, it just telling just us about how we <laughs> have the recording of this threat? I don't. Because we had it. We we yeah we did. <laughs> Maybe we weren't supposed to have realized that we had it. I don't, I don't know. This is carbon dust too. There's no mistaking it. So we should be able to combine those now. I thought as yeah. much. But why would they both have carbon dust on them? I don't know. Maybe they were killed by the same person. <laughs> Maybe that. Huh. Yes, these two can be put together. They both have carbon dust on their fingertips, but there's something quite different between the two. The hand of them. that it's different on. hands. That is. I'm guessing that um victim number four is left handed. And victim yeah. Yeah, we already Aiden know victim right number three is right-handed. Yep. No idea about victims yes. one and two. The no one lets on us see Aiden's those. Right hand, but They're not Steven's relevant. <laughs> They're not relevant to the serial killer case. So many That's definitely how it works. And one difference. This bothers me a little. Oh, come on, like, you couldn't figure this out, so we need to do this one as well. I need these wounds analyzed, yeah. little guy. Hey, they're a lot like the ones you just had me analyze. Radially expanding wounds. It's very similar to Aiden's injuries. Itself seems a little smaller. I mean, mm -hmm. we did already if the discuss the, the fact shape, that it didn't damage the, the scene as why much. Should be obvious. Yeah, that's actually. These wounds can tell us important. that. Same thing at very close range. <laughs> Inside them. <laughs> <laughs> that would leave much less of a body if it exploded inside them. Yes. Yes. This victim was killed by a close-range explosion as well. At first glance, it looks like the same method was used. I should compare the two to learn more. All right, let's compare the two. Mm, yes, <laughs> these two can be put together. Aiden Posner and Stephen Eldred. The conditions of both explosions were the same, and both explosions were about the same strength. Dead. <laughs> There's a because good both of them were exploded, were we can conclude that they are both all. dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Newest victim. What oh, else? can we connect that with the, the next victim's a white guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. So, white male target. Hey, little guy, there's something yeah. I want to ask you. Yes, what is it? Did you know the victim at all before the bombing? Huh? No, I've never seen him before. Why are we asking this? I thought so. Well, a Caucasian male. Odd. Think about the other victims so far. It's like a politician, a famous athlete. Yeah, someone, like people of significance. All people kind of in the public eye. Yeah. yeah. So, as far as we know, like, Stephen Eldred is just, just a 20-year-old college guy. Yeah. You know? Not hard, hardly famous. Yeah. The revolutionary did give advance notice about his next target. Still, the victim this time is obviously different from his previous ones. And now we're going to go through answering the question that just Because answers. he's left-handed. It addresses, like, exactly what we just talked it's... about. Yeah. 
He isn't famous. <laughs> He's the only male except for the third victim. And probably the other two, but we don't know for sure. Let's see. Yeah. There was no doubt. <laughs> victim Steven. That's it. A politician, a celebrity, and an athlete. All the other victims up until now were in the public eye. I like how they're using the exact same terms that we use too. <laughs> this and I swear that's great. not me like no memorizing the case and knowing yeah. exactly what they're going to say. I mean, it might be in somewhere deep in the back of your mind, but it's not intentional. That's true, now that you mention it. Perhaps this was a copycat crime after all. Or perhaps, has the raging bomber changed his modus operandi? After making that observation about the name, I can't help but kind of laugh to myself every time Even I see the it. The reasoning behind out. his previous victims <laughs> wasn't that they were famous. Hmm. In any case, we have to continue investigating. Keep finding out whatever you can. Let me know if you learn anything. Understood. I'll... Okay, so let me think. So, um, Callus on right palm, I don't know if we can do anything with that yet. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Matches the threat. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think we can combine any of this yet. Yeah, maybe back out and see if anything happens. Uh, can we get to the crime scene in any way? Yeah, we can check that. Okay, no news. Because I know that they, they specifically mentioned it was in better shape. Yep, okay, we can go there now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how the Let's interface works, the said it's been a while. Victim, Stephen Eldred. The oh, explosion he had a guitar. was concentrated on the right side of the room. The left side is almost untouched. Huh? What's that sound? The phone. Oh, so that's what it was. It's an old rotary Hello? phone. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, but isn't this Mr. Eldred's residence? That's correct. And you are? Michael Lang. I'm from Lone in Texas. If you are aware of our business model, then you must know why I'm calling. Huh. You're a loan shark. Does that mean Steven Probably Eldred specifically has a, a student loan shark in this case. I will not divulge any of my customers' personal information. Please let Mr. Eldred know that we're trying to contact him. Well then. Michael Lang from Loan and Tax. I'm surprised you didn't say that'll be difficult considering he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> Was that really a call from a loan shark? Probably. I mean, it definitely sounded like it, so. <laughs> All right. So while we're investigating here, uh, yeah. Air has what a story. Metal be from? Yeah. I think that might be exactly the same graphic again. Yep. <laughs> it is. It, it definitely is. This one's different, though. Ooh. Ooh. It's You'd think they'd use that deep. for the zoom in. It was but most likely launched by the force not. of the explosion. All right. So, what what is this story? Uh, I don't know. Well, the guitar, not not the guitar, but there's, I was talking about there. yours, the one that oh, you wanted to tell. Yeah. So. Oops. Um, first, I, if this was an interesting morning, so first, as some very quick backstory, um, my great grandmother, who's ninety three, um, and has five cats, one of which is on medication for a thyroid problem and needs a pill twice a day. Uh, she is currently in the hospital for what we believe is arthritis pain, but we're making wow, sure it's not something filthy. worse than that. It appears to or be more a treatable. Guitar. So the per so someone that we have um, basically to hired to help her to deal with things room. around the house because, you know, at 93, things start to get a bit more difficult. Um, went over there today and was unable to give the cat their pill. So, because I, so because my mom is fairly good at giving pills to cats, because of course she is, <laughs> we were called over to go give this cat its pill. And normally that's all fine and good. Uh, but we had pretty Could much the most the stressful trip I've ever had to my great-grandmother's house, because... Along the way there, there was um, a cement truck pulled over in like a side street. And I could see feet going next to it. And I didn't think too much of it because, I mean, no one's stupid enough to run into a busy street with cars streaking by. But apparently this guy was. So 
I almost gave this guy a Darwin Award because he almost threw himself in front of my moving van. Because he didn't look where he was going before he ran out into the street. Wow. He di- I, like, he didn't look at all. He was just running, almost ran right in front of my bumper. He was like inches away from throwing himself into my car. And yeah, uh, the screen is so that was fun. <laughs> okay, so we're trying to turn this computer on, but it's not the screen's not turning on. If you tried turning it off and on again, input either. could it be broken? Non responsive computer. There's more stuff that we can investigate here, but not yet. The game okay. doesn't want us to, yeah, doesn't want us getting ahead of it. Hey, little guy. I need some help but, from you. Yeah, so that was a fun what morning. Are you up to now? I'm insulted. There's somebody I need you to look into. Is that all? That shouldn't be any problem. Good. His name is Michael Lang. He's a loan shark. Probably. Are you buying a house soon? Stop playing around. He called the victim's phone. I see. Was it a collection call? Did the victim owe him money? Probably. He found out before I could find out. That's why I'm asking for your assistance. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'll look into him. We've given this talk about their business model, I imagine, so... Make sure to check whether yeah. or not he's employed at a place called Loan and Taxes. Also, generic yeah. loan <laughs> company is the generic. Most, the most easy-to-find loan company. For all we know, the man who called was the bomber himself. I'll keep that possibility in mind. I mean... Well, no, it wasn't, because it doesn't match the voice in the room. Right, unless calling. they... It's somebody else. Unless that call had voice-changing stuff or something... I don't know. I'm doubtful. Okay, we don't have any more of this, so... Yeah. We probably need to have some things looked at. So, let's see. We got this. Hey, little guy, can you tell me anything about this? Yes, of course. It's a piece of metal. Thanks. I collected it from the wall of the we room had no the explosion idea. happened in, so... Yep, it's a piece of steel pipe. It could have come from Well, anywhere. that matches the other one from yeah, the other bomb. Yeah, probably came from the bomb. Scan shows traces of black powder. Yep. The powder was used as the explosive propellant. Hmm. Now we know for sure what that piece of metal is. It's... Oh, come on. Are we doing this again? Part of the <laughs> bomber? <laughs> Part of a robot. Part of a robot. The, the bomber's a robot. Yes, it's like it all makes sense now. With Aiden's death. Except it doesn't. The analyses show that the powder and the metal are exactly the same as those found in Aiden's bombing. I see. I get the feeling that this will work with something else that we know. Really? Do I you now? I wonder <laughs> what? Do you hmm. now? Let's put our thinking caps These on. These pieces of metal were found at both Aiden's and Stephen's deaths. Material analysis showed that both pieces were chemically identical. That means... Originally part of a steel pipe. <laughs> Alchemy <laughs> experiments! <laughs> I just never, so really never, hard. never, never break the, tra- the the taboo and try to do human transmutation. <laughs> yes, it's quite likely that both pieces were cut from common steel pipes. I mean, something I like how they discovered it's quite the likely fragments. that the thing that little guy literally told us is true. Yeah. That is. Same. It, same propeller. Yeah, those are uh, the words I wanted to say but couldn't. I mean, that's technically not wrong. Yeah, but. Well, the substance was chromatography, or however you say it. Yeah, well, that, that would be incorrect. I don't Indeed. know. Indeed. Black powder was used as the propellant for both explosions. The same components, the same metal casing. The bombs in these cases are the same type of explosive. Hooray! Same bombs. No, I, I think I dropped it on the wrong one. There is something mm, we there can we go. using this information. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> Oh, the, the raging they're both bomb dead. is believed to have been responsible for four. Well, no bombs. explosion similarities in the uh, bomb. Well, no, I was uh, when we collected that evidence. I was joking about the fact that they both have the same explosion patterns means that they're both dead just because of the icon it gave it. Of the two cases that I've been investigating, the third and fourth victims, both bombs the FBI were made can't of be a asked metal pipe the, and the, used all of the information. Powder. Yeah, you know, because I'm sure none of it's relevant. Also, the wounds on the victims have another similarity. That is... Oh, come on. Are we <laughs> seriously doing this? <laughs> Same power, I guess. That's the only thing that... Same amount of grudges? 
<laughs> the, bo- the corpses can tell us <laughs> if they have the same amount of grudges. I love how some of the yes, the wounds some of on the choices help just us determine the don't make of any questions. sense in any context. Yeah. <laughs> It turns out that both corpses had almost the exact same wounds. Materials, propellants, power. They all point to the idea that the two bombs were virtually identical. All right, I'm glad we figured that out. <laughs> yeah. Another similarity glad you caught up to us. Is the victim's distance from the bomb. Both Aiden and Stephen had been from very close. The distance is varied. <laughs> Wait, the distance the between the victims and the bombs was the distance is varied. <laughs> I love reading this obviously wrong answers as part of the sentence they're supposed to be a part of. Yeah. Because sometimes it makes it very obvious if you hadn't picked up on it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Both of them were very close to the bombs when they went but, on I mean, the same to bomb, be fair, the they did a good job method. of making the, okay, you're following us, right? That tests yeah. actually entertaining, even if the answers are really obvious. Yeah. Well, and I know the reason that they're, you know, going through this yeah. lengthy process is to make sure that, like, anyone who gets past this point in the case knows that... Yeah, understands what's going on. Yeah. You can't just get through by randomly guessing. Not, not everyone catches on as fast as we do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. We're made I mean, we by do know that they person. were probably made by a man, because the killer is probably a man, because, you know, a man was the one that called and said he was the killer. Yeah... At the but same that's time, not though, what... we don't have any solid evidence yeah, that they were right. made that's, by a guy. That's a connection that we have to make later, not now. <gasps> we got a first piece of solid evidence. Indeed. You can it tell seems solid safe evidence to think that these two murders gold. were the work yep. of the same person. Okay. Uh, we can ask him about these two things. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we have anything else in the other ones that we can do anything with. Hey, little guy. Yeah. Can you look at something for me? The computer won't boot up. It was in an explosion. It's probably broken. <laughs> that doesn't really matter as long as we can get the data from the hard drive. It was in an explosion. It's probably broken. Wait a second. Did you find That's, something? It's like, well, you, you're right. I, I love the way he read the line, though. <laughs> the yeah. extreme sarcasm <laughs> in it. Yes. The computer's fine. It's not starting up because it's locked. <coughs> Is there any way to unlock it? Why didn't the screen respond, though? I mean, unless there's like a specific I mean, set of keystrokes to make the screen turn on or something. I mean, to be fair, well, we could the computer being fine says in. nothing about the screen. There's a chance it'll wipe itself and we'll lose the data. I guess. I mean, if a piece of shrapnel hit the monitor, software. I don't think the monitor's fine. But it didn't, though. The monitor was untouched when we were at the crime scene. <laughs> if it was a blunt enough piece of shrapnel, it might have broken it. I don't freaking know. I don't know. Voice authentication. So it'll only start up using the owner's voice. Hey, guess what we have? A recording of the owner's voice. Probably not. Probably not. Or wait. No, we don't, because he didn't don't. say anything. Crap. <laughs> we don't. We can't cheat. Darn it. Yes, but <laughs> also, he probably wouldn't have said the right thing. It. Probably not. <sighs> so it'll never start up again. I mean, That's unless the entire file system is encrypted, you could still pull a lot of data off of it. Yeah, probably. For some, for well, you know, you can, the tech guy, well, he's pretty the, shit at Here's tech. the other thing. Even if you couldn't decrypt the drive, you could always clone it, right? Well, yeah, but what would that really accomplish? Well, you could clone it so you'd still have a copy of the original drive in case you, like, did something wrong and oh, I guess. the data inside. Yeah, fair enough. It would basically give you free reign to actually try to experiment without the yeah of without the data yeah okay yeah that makes sense okay oh wow that's just solid evidence boom wow okay. it was was that literally give it to him and it becomes solid evidence yep wow little guy are you a music aficionado at all uh -huh. why well i know bits and pieces hmm maybe you might not know either I need you to analyze this guitar. Well, it this looks like nasty. a guitar. Holy. What's with you? Dr. Kimishima, where did you find this? Wait, more importantly, how did this happen to her? Her? <laughs> her? <laughs> it was in the victim's room. Stevens, that is. Then the, the neck was broken in the explosion? Probably, yes. So what? Son of a bitch. The raging <laughs> bomber's gonna pay Hey, calm down. What's so wrong? So maybe he did get someone notable. Wait, wait, I can't calm down. This 
Use Mark. your words, damn it! You belong to musical legend Ben Frank. Look, you mean the guy that, the you know, zapped himself with electricity model. way back oh, when? Ben Franklin? No, not him. <laughs> he didn't have electric guitars back then. <laughs> I'm just imagining is that Ben Franklin valuable? flying an electric guitar <laughs> <laughs> instead of the key. I I really <laughs> wish that somebody could make it some artwork of that. <sighs> that would be great. <laughs> it's beyond valuable. Finding this is is a miracle. Normally I'd have it sent to the museum immediately for safekeeping, but oh damn it! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Doesn't this get to you, Doctor? Mm, no, not really. I mean, it's a broken guitar. Oh, you don't understand! <laughs> Listen to me. If this was ever on the market, it would go for seventy to $80,000. I wouldn't be surprised if bids went over a hundred grand. That's... impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, I agree. <laughs> In any event, a guitar worth more than a hundred thousand dollars. That's not the kind of thing an ordinary student would be able to afford. Especially if have him they, look at it you know, had a loan shark after them. It. Well, maybe that's why they have a loan shark after them. That or they have no idea what the significance of it is. Well, I mean, they bought it, so they probably do. I mean, we're making assumptions here. We are. Broken guitar has become a hundred thousand dollar guitar. <laughs> okay. I find that way more amusing than I should. I should have it checked again. This is what bugs me. <laughs> Little guy, can I borrow you for a moment? Well, because now, now we're gonna actually look at the guitar itself mm -hmm. and not just like have little guy freak out about it yeah yes of course can you do, do something you useful with this guitar for me can you take a close look at this guitar of course i am a professional after all i can be impartial right that's definitely a good explanation for what happened the last time we showed this to you <laughs> please do then what can you tell me about it there's not much i can say other than Found something? Yes. It looks like this guitar was played by someone other than Ben Frank. Is mm, it strange so to be left-handed? What does that mean? Yep. Is the guitar a fake? No, of course not. The scratches, the wear, and, and I actually do know about this the because deal. they did play guitar a little bit. Mm. Not for very long. <laughs> but I did. I just know that there's separate strings right for right and left-handed. Well, it's, so it's, now we have it's, conclusive evidence. It's just mirrored. That, so basically, if you're holding it in your left hand, you want the lower strings to be on the top ah. and the higher strings to be on the bottom. And if you're holding it the other way, then you'd flip the strings to the yeah. other order. And this guitar has been set to be played by someone who's left-handed. The guitar's set for a left-handed player? The difference so we know right that the powder ended up on is... their dominant hand, which we suspected but didn't have proof for. Yep, uh, the string orders. The number of strings, <laughs> the neck thickness, the neck length. Yeah, because uh, those left-handed players are really rough on the guitar and need a thicker neck. Yep. <laughs> yes, the string order is reversed, depending on the dominant hand. I'm surprised you knew that, Dr. Kimishima. When the thinner strings are on the right, it's for right-handed players. It's the opposite for left-handers. See, I couldn't tell you which was which if I didn't have well, that right in front of me. If the guitar is standing up, yes. Yeah, well, no, I'm saying if I had that, if I didn't have that sentence in front of me, I couldn't tell you which stringing was which, but I am aware that they're different. Hmm. The fourth victim owned this guitar. I doubt that he would lend his $100,000 guitar to anyone else. That Fair makes enough. it likely that Stephen Eldred was... Left-handed. Right or left-footed? Le right or left-footed. Hmm. I don't know. Now I'm wondering, like... Okay, so is there any way to show whether or not left and right footed is a thing? Not really. I mean, maybe like um, how you play in soccer. That's I don't pretty know. much. That's pretty much it. Because well, I don't know about you, but I'm left-handed and I also kick with my left foot. 
in soccer. So. I don't know what I do in soccer because I don't. I, I avoid sports like the plague. You should also avoid cliches like the plague. Also avoid the plague like the plague. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm weird in that I do most things with my right hand, except I know at least off the top of my head, hand. I brush my teeth with my left that hand. That information could I answer the phone with my left hand. Hmm. And that's all I can think of. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I think we want these. What? What do you mean there's nothing tying them together? There's everything tying them together. Do you, oh, oh, maybe combine it with the other guy being right-handed? I don't know. Oh, you mean... Or this. Yeah. May lead us to learn okay. Something new. Now we the combine it with Aiden the other thing you tried to combine. Yeah, probably. It with. The callus on his palm is proof of his dominant arm. That would mean he was. Oh come on! Are we doing this again? <laughs> Mutant, Mutant third, third hand. <laughs> his dominant hand was Mutant third hand. Actually, none of those are proper sentences. Correct. No. He was his right dominant hand was right hand. <laughs> The fourth victim, Stephen Eldred. His guitar tells us which is his dominant hand. That would be his left. And, and you know that they're gonna his make his dominant us... hand was left hand, or he was telekinetic. Oh hey, they only made us go, go through two of them yes. again. The guitar. Had <sighs> no, been no, no. Here's what we're gonna have to do player. for the you know when we combine yeah. those with the the hands that the carbon dust was on. Oh. Then we'll have to say like on the same hand as their dominant hand. The famous yeah, musician there'll the be all kinds of questions about that. His right hand. If anyone were to change the strings, it would be the current owner. Well, and changing the strings isn't that big of a deal on a guitar. Yeah. You just have to basically, you know, put the strings on in the opposite order. Thus, mm -hmm. we can reason that Stephen Eldred was himself left-handed. I wonder if this difference will be any help in this investigation. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. I think these may help us get closer to solving the mystery. <gasps> oh my god, it was! <laughs> Both the third and fourth victims had carbon dust on their fingers, but the locations of the dust are the major difference between them. On the other hand, we've learned about a difference between Aiden and Steve. Their dominant hands. The two victims yep. had different dominant Hey, they didn't make this guess this time. <laughs> From these two facts, we can tell that the carbon dust was... On their dominant hands. Was found randomly. randomly all over the victim's body. <laughs> oh, we got another piece of solid evidence. Indeed, it was on each victim's dominant Did you see the name of the card? It was hand. Dominant Dust. <laughs> hey, it's pretty close to Diamond Dust. <laughs> I think we've gotten a little yeah, closer. I, I'm to figuring right, dust in myself. Behind the carbon dust. Okay, um, and we're actually down to one page again. Oh, that's always kind of nice. Yep. Uh, I don't think we can do anything more with what we have right now. Yep, that mean, that's what that means. We've what man? Who are you talking about? The Loan oh, Shark. Uh, Michael Lang. He really does work for Loan and Taxes. So it has a shitty a business company. name. Is that his real name? Yes, though what he does is barely considered legal. Huh. If that's the case, is there the slightest chance that he's the bomber? Probably not. About that. I'll send you the recording of his interrogation anyway. I mean, probably not, because we can double check his voice with the revolutionary's voice. And yeah. Please listen to it when you have time. Especially since we got like the recording from the him culprit, that should be his natural yeah. voice. There's no reason to not listen to what he had to say. Also, the, there's no reason not to listen to what he has to say. What if it's a waste of time and someone else gets killed in that period of time? There is reason not to listen to what he has to say. Not when we don't have many other leads. Right. Yes, I'm that's just, correct. I'm just being his financial agent. Annoying, I He's guess. dead. Hmm. That's a problem. <laughs> if that's true, our company will be gravely affected. <laughs> it seems you don't know, but <sighs> Mr. Eldred, he owes us $100,000. Oh, yeah, that interest, sounds about right. Of which he has paid 25000 leaving seventy-five. The Raging Bomber. Well, I've seen the name in the news. This will be problematic. I'll have to take on the dead then. We extremely regret having to hear about something like this. Yes, we regret that, that we're losing money. Secured loans. Still, there's no reason to loan money to people with no means of repaying that debt. In all honesty, Mr. Eldred agreed to make a down payment of $10,000 for the loan. Not only did he make that initial payment, he paid $5,000 the first month and another $10,000 the next. Quite a bit of money. A source of income. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, to be, you know, like, paying monthly. Does not search mm -hmm. within other people's private concerns. Yes, we did loan $100,000 to Mr. Eldred. This was based on the assumption that he could repay the loan. We killed Mr. Eldred? <laughs> you must be joking. If we killed off our customers, we'd never reclaim what was owed to us. I'd say that we'd take a much more pragmatic approach. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, I have additional information about Michael Lang. He's a veteran loan shark who's been working with loan and taxes for the past 12 years. I really need to rebrand. I see. It looks like we'll need to do some investigating uh, hey, into I, the victim I, as well. At least there's no ambiguity for what they do. But do they do loans or do they do taxes? I need to know. They do loans and taxes. But what if I only need one? It's a good question. <laughs> Right. I cannot hear he that the pattern of the of, like, bombing Cthulhu victims. and shit. Well, actually, so you, you mentioning that just made me think about, like, Boolean algebra and the fact of that... Of course it did. Well, well no, because th th <laughs> think about, like, you know, in, in... In logic, how if you have an and, right, both yeah. inputs have to be true. But yeah. in... You know, in logic for a logical or, right, it's, it's either one or both is true. Yeah, but when people to see the when connection. Pe when people say or, right, they usually yeah. mean one or the other, not both. Yeah. So loans or taxes. I was just thinking about oh. that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I thought you were making the connection to me talking about Cthulhu. <laughs> I was really confused. <laughs> Cthulhu is a very logical beast. Oh, yes. <laughs> For example. <sighs> uh, he isn't famous, uh, Rudy. Went over this one. You remembered right. something. Good for you. Yeah. He's the only Excellent one who reasoning. wasn't particularly well known. Why would the bomber target him at all? If we can figure out why, guitar. I think we'll see a great deal of progress in this case. There's more to it than that, though. The victim himself made some unanswered questions. According to Michael How does he Lane, get his money? the man from Loan and Taxes, yeah. Steven well, because he's a college student, too. Yeah. To get yeah. That. I mean, I just the assumed that, that is... this loan shark was talking about student debt. <laughs> Pay for his wedding. Rent build his a computer. Imagine what kind of awesome computer you could build with $100,000. <laughs> you could build, like, a supercomputer. Yeah. Maybe maybe not something, like, quite as impressive as, like, Blue Jean or Watson yeah. or whatever, but... You could still you could, build. You a could pretty build impressive. something that would last way longer than you would ever need it to with that kind of money. Oh yeah, you could buy so many redundant parts. Yeah. That's I was about to say quad SLI, but I don't think you can the do quad SLI anymore. Here was fit together. But think still, of all the SSDs. How can an ordinary <laughs> yeah. student get such a substantial loan? <laughs> so many SSDs. <laughs> The reason must be because... Let's see. Wasn't rejected because he was friends with a loan shark, I guess. Well, well no, periodic well, income, I guess, is the reason they didn't reject him. Yeah, because, I mean, he does seem to be actually paying it off. The, so it's the not loan just shark, yeah. The loan shark did mention that he was making payments. Right. So, well, so plus he did he the periodic... down payment on it, too. Yeah, because I wouldn't think it's his family was rich, because then they would have just bought the friggin' guitar. Yeah. Indeed. He wouldn't have needed the loan. There was a deposit yeah. made to his account. A large one, of unknown origin. That was why the loan shark accepted his means of repaying the debt. This led to Stephen being loaned the $100,000. The more we investigate, the cloudier the truth gets. Uh, Dr. Kimishima? Can you hear me? Hmm, I'm listening. What is it? I've asked for another recording from HQ. A recording of what? That revolutionary guy. I thought it might be of some use to us. I ordered a copy of the announcement he made before Aiden <laughs> This Posner is the one that we've been talking about. <laughs> I see. I'll check it out. All right. So, so we'll this is the one before the first victim that we got. Yes. Which was the third victim because the FBI is being stupid. Yes. But we'll listen to it in the next one. <laughs> oh, yeah, because this is getting a little long. All right. So thank you for watching this episode of Trauma Team. I've been Red Parasite. I've been Air 327 signing out. And we did figure it out this episode. That is true.